Hi, welcome to the Pinoy RN, a podcast that provides insight into a variety of subjects relevant to Pinoy nurses. Here's your host, Jerome Babate. when I received a call from then President Mary Joy Dia to ask me if I was interested in taking over as the editor-in-chief of the Inside PNAA. I was actually very surprised with her call and her offer because it never crossed my mind to be an editor-in-chief of this national newsletter. However, I was a regular contributor for the newsletter and I was also the columnist for this newsletter featuring nurses from around the globe. Mary Joy told me that the current editor-in-chief, Ariel Zavala, was stepping down after two years, and Ariel recommended me to be his successor. I told Mary Joy that I will think about it, and will give her a call later in the week to let her know of my decision. At first, I was nervous about the offer, and I was also not sure what to expect about this position. Yet, at the same time, I was excited, thinking about the opportunity that this position would do for me. So after a few days of deliberation, I decided to accept the offer. The PNAA Marketing and Communications Chair, Carol Robles, called me one day and provided me a lot of information about the newsletter. Since she spent the past two years as the layout artist, she has so much insight about the newsletter and the advice that she gave me were really helpful. Ariel, the previous editor-in-chief, also gave me a call and provided me some guidance about the newsletter. So both Carol and Ariel have done a tremendous job uplifting the image of the PNAA through the Inside PNAA newsletter, and I knew that I had big shoes to fill. The next step was to form my team of associate editors and layout artists. Two of the three associate editors from the previous team decided to stay. That's Arlene Fidelaga and Alan Esperos, and I was very glad about it. I had to recruit two additional associate editors to help with reviewing the articles. These are Warley Remedio and Christina Geringer. Mary Joy Garcia Dia recommended one of her former informatics student, Joni Lynn Lopez, to be the layout artist. So the team will not be complete without advisors, so I asked the experts, Carol Robles, Ariel Sabala, and the past PNAA president, Peter Calixto, to serve as, as the advisors. Now that the team is complete and I felt more confident in ta tackling this big job. The vision of Inside PNAA is to connect PNAA members by providing quality and timely information and news. Our goals are, one is to serve as the primary platform of information for our PNAA members. Second is to highlight the achievements of the PNAA members. And third is to serve as the base for overall schedule of activities for PNAA and its 55 chapters. PNAA is a professional nursing organization representing 55 chapters with over 5,000 members. In addition, we are representing over 160,000 Filipino-American nurses in the U.S. Our mission is to uphold and foster the positive image and welfare of Filipino-American nurses, promote professional excellence, and contribute to significant outcomes to healthcare and society through education, research, and clinical practice. As Editor-in-Chief, I am responsible for ensuring that we communicate to our members and readers the many activities that our organization is involved with. Essentially, the newsletter serves as the organization's voice to communicate with the members what is going on in the organization, what our members are doing, and what our, our chapters are doing, and of course, to highlight the achievements of our members. Our new president, Mary Joy Dia, introduced her theme for the two years of her presidency. My role as the editor-in-chief is to support her theme and ensure that every PNAA, PNAA member is fully aware of these. Her theme, 
Spark, S-P-A-R-K, which means stories about people, resilience, and kindness. It is very fitting in today's environment, especially with the COVID-19 pandemic. Our newsletter rolled out the Spark theme in August, and it, it has been very successful because we get so many articles from our members sharing their sparks, spark stories. It's so heartwarming. The contributions of our members really inspire me. Reading their stories about achievements, resilience, and kindness are truly inspiring. I receive many emails from our, from our members telling me about their stories, and I help them write their stories and publish them in the newsletter. When things are not going well for me or I'm stressed, I get on the computer and read previous copies of the newsletter and my, my stress level goes down. The great work that our members are doing are truly inspiring. We have a theme every month. If a major holiday falls on that particular month, we gather articles from our members pertaining to that holiday, such as Veterans Day, Thanksgiving, and of course, Christmas and New Year's. We also feature major PNA events and activities, such as the 41st PNAA Annual Convention and First Virtual Convention in July, and the recently concluded South Central Regional Conference. Last September, we did a special feature on our millennial members because this younger generation will be taking over our organization in a few years, and we would like to honor them for the great things that they are doing. We also feature several of our mentors who are guiding our millennial members. Of course, the Spark theme, the stories about people, achievements, resilience, and kindness will be our ongoing theme throughout 2022. I am a retired colonel in the U.S. Army. I retired in 2018. I was born and raised in Manila, Philippines, and I immigrated to Chicago, Illinois in 1983. I obtained my RN diploma from St. Francis Hospital School of Nursing in 1987 and my Bachelor's of Science degree from Northwestern University in 1990. I also received my Master of Business Administration degree in 1993 and Master of Public Administration in 2003. I also obtained a Master's degree in Military Arts and Science from the U.S. Army Command and General Staff College in 2005 and Master of Strategic Studies from the U.S. Army War College in 2014. For eight years prior to joining the Army in 1995, I work at Northwestern Memorial Hospital in Chicago specializing in trauma, transplant, and critical care nursing. While in the Army, I was assigned in medical center and field hospitals all over the continental U.S. and overseas. I completed a variety of clinical and leadership assignments in critical care, medical surgical, ambulatory nursing, and nursing administration. I also serve as commander or CEO, a chief nursing officer, and senior nurse executive positions in the military healthcare systems. I volunteer in various organizations in Hawaii. I currently serve on the Conference Planning Committee of the American Organization for Nursing Leadership, or AONL. I am currently the Vice President of the Philippine Nurses Association of Hawaii and a board member of the PNA America and the Golden Retrievers Club of Hawaii. When COVID-19 hit Hawaii, I volunteered as a consultant for the Hawaii's Department of Health COVID-19 Medical Facility for the Homeless People on Oahu. I am currently enrolled in the Doctor of Healthcare Administration program at Capella University. The Year of the Nurses and Midwives is a special recognition to celebrate the contributions and accomplishments of more than 22 million nurses all over the world. This designation coincides with the 200th anniversary of the birth of Florence Nightingale. The year 2020 should have been a celebration of our profession. However, nobody knew that the COVID-19 pandemic would, would take over the world this year. This pandemic demonstrated the vital role of nurses in caring for patients, 
comforting families, and protecting the health of the community. Filipino nurses are deeply affected by the COVID-19 pandemic, and recent reports have shown that many nurses, nurses that died of COVID-19 are Filipino nurses. We cannot overstate the contributions of the Filipino nurses, and I want to thank them for their courage, conviction in their chosen profession, their sacrifices, and dedication to the call of duty. They are my heroes. Thank you for the opportunity to tell you more about my role as the Inside PNAA Newsletter Editor-in-Chief and about myself, and to thank our Filipino nurses. Well, that's all for today's episode of Pinoy RN. Thanks for listening, and thank you to our guest for joining me today. Join us again next time when we talk about Filipino nurses and nursing. Make sure you subscribe to the Pinoy RN podcast on YouTube so you never miss an episode. Also, follow us on Facebook at Pinoy RN Podcast. Special thanks to our event partners, Beta New Delta Nursing Society, Filipino Nursing Diaspora Network, Nursing for Humanity.